Ever since the C8 Corvette came out in 2020, it has been arguably the hottest vehicle in the automotive market to date. I would argue to say that it is still the hottest vehicle out there right now. The only problem with it is when they released it, GM said that they will not be offering a manual transmission. But what if I told you that GM just straight up lied to you? Let's talk about it. Now I know that can be a hard pill to swallow. I just told you that one of the largest companies in the United States just straight up lied to you. But would you really be that surprised? I recently got off the phone with one of my contacts at GM and for their privacy sake, obviously I'm gonna refer to them as somebody else. So I'll be referring to them as Prometheus. According to Prometheus, he has said that the Z06 Corvette is actually gonna have a completely different transmission than the Stingray. It's still gonna be a dual clutch transmission, so he hear me out, hear me out for a minute. I know that's not gonna mean manual transmission, but just, just give me a minute here and I'll explain. First, let's talk about the transmission a little bit and why it's different. The big thing that he told me is the entire thing is going to be made out of magnesium. Magnesium. And in case you're unfamiliar with magnesium, magnesium weighs only 64% of what aluminum weighs, which is what the current transmission is made out of. Think about that for a minute. This is a huge component on the car. Just the weight savings in general are gonna be insane. But I know that's not what you guys came here to learn about. We're gonna talk about how the Z06 Corvette would come with a manual transmission. Now, take this with a grain of salt. I would, talking with Prometheus, um, I don't know how accurate this information is just because I have to take them at their word, but the previous information that they gave me uh, is pretty has been accurate thus far. So I'm gonna take Prometheus at their word. How it would be a manual transmission. Let's take let's take a look at what the Stingray is right now. The Stingray has you know the flappy paddles, right? So if you were to take that same technology, but just make it a stick, so you'll still have the dual clutch transmission but you'll have the ability to change at, into any gear at any time instead of just going up and down. It's gonna be electronic kind of fly-by-wire type of thing, so it's not gonna be a manual in the traditional sense. According to Prometheus, they have a patent on the flappy paddle transmission, but they have something similar for something else that no one's ever seen yet. So I would wager that that has something to do with a type of electronic manual or an e-manual, not like the e-gear from like the Lamborghini or anything like that. I'm talking an actual stick that you have in the center console and you can shift from one to two all the way up to seven. But instead of actually, you know, physically doing the analog shifting, it's just sending a signal like the paddles would and shifting the gears that way. So you still have a clutch pedal, it just wouldn't be attached to an actual clutch. It would just be, you know, electronic. So it still gives you the benefits of that, that dual clutch transmission, but you still get the feel of that manual, which is what guys like us are always gonna be looking for. So just to recap, the new transmission on the Z06, and this is Z06 specific, this will not be available on the Stingray, is gonna be made of magnesium, and it's gonna be completely different from the one that is in the Stingray. And I would assume part of that has to attribute to the power gains that we're gonna see on the Z06 um, so that this transmission can handle that. And then we have the possibility of having a manual. I'm not saying this is confirmed or anything, but based on what Prometheus has told me, it is extremely possible that we'll see a type of manual transmission in the next generation Z06. Whether that be you know, you know an, act, an electronic one, um, which I would personally be completely okay with. You still get the feel of shifting and banging through the gears, but you still get the benefits of that dual clutch transmission. But that's enough of what I think. I wanna hear what you guys think. Is this something that's totally possible? Is this something that you guys would like? Or is it just something that I'm pulling out of thin air and is just completely not even close to what uh, would actually be on the vehicle? Let me know what you guys think. I'm always curious to hear what other people think and have those conversations in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.